everyone, it's Kayla, uh, the Horror Abyss, and we're here with William Forsyth, which I'm really excited about because I think a lot of people know, who, anybody who knows me knows I'm a huge fan. <laughs> so, we got... Thank you, my dear. No, thank you. Seriously. You're amazing. And we watched your panel yesterday. Great panel. I gotta say, I love your take on things, and <laughs> especially regarding your role in Devil's Rejects. Mm -hmm. You were the good guy. Absolutely. But so many people see you as like the bad guy bringing the fireflies down, right? Oh, the poor fireflies. Right? The oh, poor the, fireflies. Those poor serial killers, let's feel real sympathy for them. Right? Yeah. I And I'm on I the I wept more openly. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> more on the side of like, no, you were the good guy. And in that moment, I think a lot of people would emotionally and mentally react the way your character did they may not have done everything mm -hmm. but everybody would have felt the same way absolutely right absolutely so i think that was a really good role in in the way that eventually you know if you get too wrapped up in you know the vengeance and stuff you become the monster right well Do you think that's accurate he crosses the line yes once you cross the line and you become a part of exactly what they are. Right. And, and I mean, the irony is, that, you know, you have the whole, and the genius, yeah. is that the audience somehow feels all this sympathy for these, you for know, the killers. these uh, horrible people that do horrible things. Yeah. And I think that's kind of the genius of the movie, is yeah. that we flip, we flip the last page. Yeah. And, and, and it changes. So, yeah. You know. yeah. A great role. And I also love you as the butcher. Yeah. <laughs> um, any favorite moments in that role, filming? Well, you know, the, the very first scene that I shot, I had, I had taken a course in, in being a butcher. I mean, I wanted, to okay. be, I wanted to be able to man those knives and do it like I've been doing it my whole life. Yeah. And so my opening scene was cutting up that big cow's liver. Yeah. And, and, and that's that scene where I met Jimmy. And, and oddly enough, that was, I love that scene because he lays it out. And it was also at that moment, believe it or not, the audience, the, the producers had not decided. Like, I wanted to play him old school from the old country because I knew that was the right choice. Right. They weren't sure whether they wanted to take that risk. Okay. And so I said, well, let, why don't you watch what I do? Yeah. And, 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 if and it, it works. And if it works, we'll use it. I mean, so yeah. it was that strange, a moment where I shot the scene that way. So and they could have walked up and they could have went, no, 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 no. Right. I don't think they... I don't think they fully realized or believed that that was part of my repertoire, which it is. Right. And so it, I did that scene, and then basically the, the production walked up and they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, okay. That, that, and, and so I'll always remember that moment. And the other moment is when we had, when, when Manny, somebody comes to kill Manny. Yep. And it was this great moment in the butcher shop. And what I loved about that scene the most is it was a brutal type fight. Yes. It was it was a real fight because yep. everything was off balance. It wasn't in any way like a staged movie fight of any yeah. kind. And the gentleman I did it with, I'm sorry, I can't remember his full name, but he was a, a firefighter. Oh. And and the and oh my goodness, I mean that scene, I loved it. I just loved yeah. the way it was so dirty. Yeah. And 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 the way it happened between him and I, and then the final result, and they had that sign behind my head, yeah. which is you know fresh killed meat or something. And I, yeah. I might even have it here, but it's funny. That's it's really crazy. funny. Um, but I, I love doing that. They wrote for me. Um, it, it was it was a great show. It was a very committed show, and I really enjoyed working with everybody over there. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and when you were doing, yeah, when you were cutting, it looked like it just flowed so naturally. And that's one of the things that I love about you as an actor is that you really take the role seriously. I know. Um, that I spent so many hours working with those knives, believe yeah. it or not, that it, 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 I would get up in the middle of the night. And in the dark, I would do the knives. You're very so I dedicated. Even, You're, that's you part really... Of, that's part of where, you know, we come from. I believe with all my heart that you have to bring everything you have to yeah. what you do. And, and you have to use your brain as well as everything else to yeah. try to create a real character. Yeah, exactly. And I think that in your characters, you do that. You are, you completely dive into the work and you do it right and you do a good job thank you and i respect that a lot about that that's that's where it's at yeah 
for Gacy, you were mentioning that you did that as well. Um, you found out a lot. I took of a personal trip about. to hell yeah. and and discovered everything I could about him, things that even other people didn't even know about him, and uh, things that even the police officers were surprised that I told them about because. Yeah. You know, when I showed up in Chicago and I did my research, suddenly people were lying to me. They were slamming doors in my face. There were a lot of very strange things happening. And I became determined to uncover who this guy was and to expose him. So yeah. I, I, I watched the movie. I'm proud of the movie. I'll never watch it again because of, of, of you know, the place I had to go to make that happen. That's understandable. But, I mean, we watched it. we watched it last night just as kind of... I mean, we were talking about it yesterday, and it really made me want to watch it again. And yeah, you did a phenomenal job in that movie. Um, Juice Bigelow. <laughs> well, yeah. finally we're going to someplace light and airy. <laughs> yep, I, uh, I, I love your role in that. You were hilarious, and something I said to you yesterday during your panel is, I'd love to see more comedy from you. Because well, comedy's my favorite thing. I love comedy and at this stage of my life it's my absolute favorite I enjoy I enjoy creating a character that's completely real in his own in their own world yep. and and going to a place that is full of humor now people know that I do it obviously in fact I don't think I think every single comedy I ever did made money that I was ever involved in so people know you can do it but it's funny because of <laughs> other type of roles other intense characters or whatever they, they forget but it is my favorite, and I think I, 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 I do it fairly well. You so. do. You do it great. And that's something that I oh, I mean, like, when I saw Deuce Bigelow, I was like, that guy's funny. Uh, and then I saw you as Capone, and I was like, wow, wow, right? Because yeah. two completely different. And um, I was like, he can do this, he can do this, he can do that, and he can do comedy. That's great. That's what we do. I love it, and I'd yep. love to see more comedy from you. You're a funny guy. Bring it on. I love your, I mean, you have no social media. So that's something I'm I I'm a hider. Right? Yep. I, we um, tried to reach out to you before. We like to set everything up prior, but yeah, you're nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> I, I use smoke signals to communicate, you know, I'm, I was, I'm bad. I was thinking about sending a carrier <laughs> pigeon. Well, yes, that would work. That would work. Well, that's good to know for the future. I got to set up a coop, but you know, it's, it's good. How many cons have you done? I don't know. I, I, I've slowed down doing them. Yeah. I mean, there was a period I was doing a little bit more, and then all, every time is different. These days, I've been doing way less. Yeah, way, I noticed Way, that. way less. Yeah. Um, is, it, is it something that you just kind of, like, do you enjoy the con? I look, I, I thought I would hate doing them when I first started because I, I'm more to myself kind of yeah. person. But I, I, it, that has nothing to do with my choice. I, I get busy, and I don't really want to do them all the time. Yep. But the reason I love doing them is because I love the people. Yep. I really, really am impressed with the fans, yep. the knowledge of the fans, the things that they see, yep. and, and even things that, to, to be honest, I think people in my business didn't even see the whole time I've been doing it. And, yes. and, and it, the first time I did it, I, I was blown away by the depth of perception of the fans. Yep. And, for, and that's the reason I continue to do it. That's, yeah, I mean, the horror fan, film fan, is like a very certain type of breed person. Well, like horror fans fan. know movies. Yes. They don't just know horror movies. They, they know, know film. film. They know yeah. film, and they're great fans. And I, I love and appreciate it very much. Yeah, that's, that's, and we love and appreciate you and, and everything you put out. Is there anything that you're currently working on that's I'm, I'm always currently working on and something right now I mean I can't even you know to think of it I because I constantly go to work right now I have about three or four films that are sitting in the can I started doing okay. some Magnum PIs on a character that I originated on Hawaii Five-0 okay. and also Man in the High Castle is about to be released and I'm I'm, I'm appearing again as J. Edgar Hoover okay <laughs> all right okay yeah because I was, I was a little bit curious of you know and I'm always, always out. keeping it busy, always, always, so, I mean, so workaholic. We'll see, okay, so we'll see more of you in the near future. Absolutely. Okay, um, is there anything else you, you want to no. tell the people? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, live a good life.
Well, thank you so much for taking five and My talking pleasure. to us in our community. Um, I think it's going to be a pleasant surprise because, as you were saying, you don't do as many cons. So it was a nice opportunity. Thank you for taking Bless five. Bless you, sweetheart. All it's the nice best to you. Meet you. Thank you. Stay scared, everyone. <laughs>